Over the years, my friends, I've tested out a lot of tents, some very expensive, some inexpensive. This happens to be one of the least expensive tents that I've tested out. This is the best sports two person tent and the price on this is 80 bucks. For $80, this tent has a lot of features that you typically don't see with budget tents. I need to take a second here and say thank you very much, Bill, for sending this in. He purchased this tent on Amazon, had it shipped to me. Bill has been using his own best sports tent and he swears by it. He's very impressed with the quality of the tent, especially for the money. It's because of Bill that we have this tent to test out and I'm thankful. So Bill, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Just in case you don't know everyone, a test night episode is basically a waterproof test of a shelter. In this case, the best sports tent. Talking about the weather for a second, this is going to be a good test for this tent. We are going to find out together whether or not this tent is storm worthy, whether or not it's waterproof. As it stands right now, honestly, I have no idea which way this is going to go. This is a very inexpensive Chinese made tent. I don't know, usually for this budget, you don't find shelters that are waterproof, but Bill says it is. So we will find out together whether or not he's right, or maybe he just got lucky with his. Either way, this is going to be an interesting episode. This is what I would like for you all to do. Hit the like button because it helps the channel. And then in the comment section down below, share your thoughts, share your prediction. Do you think this tent is going to leak? That's enough for now, everyone. Let's await the rain and let's see what happens together. I will see you all again very soon. As an update everyone, it's about midnight and it has been pouring the rain for a good number of hours now. So far this has been a good test for this tent. Looking at the radar, it looks like there's going to be rain all night long. It's not even close to being over. It should last well into the morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is now time to check on the best sport tent. Did it leak? We will find out in just a moment. To go over the weather, last night it began raining around, it was around 10 o'clock-ish. It was pretty light to begin with, and throughout the night it just got heavier and heavier and heavier. The last time that I came out was around 4.30 in the morning, and it was pouring at that time. It's now about 8.30 and it stopped raining roughly 30 minutes ago. All in all, that was an excellent test for this tent. That would have been an excellent test for any tent. As far as the wind goes, it really didn't pick up last night, so that's not an issue. This was more than anything, a good rainfall, a good test for this tent. All right, the moment of truth. Going around the tent here, I can tell you that the tent did leak. So take a look right there. This side of the tent is wet and it looks like the water came from this vent. I'm not sure if you all could see this, but there is water on the inside of this vent too. Based upon my initial impressions, there's quite a bit here that I don't like. I mean, this tent does have a lot of features, but at the same time, this is an $80 tent and it feels like one and it shows like one. What do I mean by that? Take the materials for a second here, namely on the inside of the tent. Primarily, you have fabric walls that go around. You have a little bit of mesh. In the summertime, this is going to be a warm shelter. You're not going to feel a cool breeze coming through the woods. 
because of that. It's gonna block that wind, it's gonna hold in some heat. Yes, you do have some mesh at the top, but in most cases, you're not going to feel a breeze going over the top and coming down. My question for you all now is this. Were your predictions correct? Did you predict that this tent was going to leak? Yes or no? Let me know. All right, everyone, that was a good test of the best sport two-person tent. Again, this is a Chinese-made $80 tent. Bill, thank you so much for sending this over. I really do appreciate it, and I know the community does as well. I'm going to shoot you an email, Bill, and I'm going to ask you some questions about your tent, the version that you have, and whether or not you've had any sort of leaking. I've taken a close look at the vents here and I think I see the problem. If you look at this seam that goes around these vents, it's not seam taped. So the rain that was falling last night was making its way through that seam, down the material, into the tent. So I took the fly off here to see what exactly took place as far as the leaking goes, to see if it was confined just to that vent. And I can tell you that it was not. You can see that the mesh is soaked, right? But you can also see that the seams on this tent are wet. This tells me a few things. First off, water did go through the vent like we talked about before, but also there was some sort of leaking through the fly itself on the sides because all of this material on both sides soaking wet. In a way, this is an impromptu review. So these are my thoughts. Based upon what I'm seeing right here, I would recommend not purchasing this tent. I think you can do better with your money. Save your 80 bucks, add a little bit to it, buy a Teton Sports tent, a Mountain Ultra, you'll be better off. Better waterproofness, incredible quality, and a lifetime warranty. That's hard to beat. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more like it, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. You can join the Wolf Pack by supporting the Outdoor Gear Review on Patreon and YouTube. Everyone, take care, be well, strength and honor. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Have this day.